Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I am back with another plus size try on haul. And this time it is from the company Shein. I have worked with Shein before on my channel. So thank you so much Shein for partnering with me on this video again. And this time I have a fall haul for y'all. So that's a mouthful, I know. A fall haul for y'all. So I do have a promo code as usual. Use my code WENDYW15 to receive 15% off of your purchase. So let's go ahead and get into my so haul. The first item I have for y'all is a bodysuit. I'm not normally a bodysuit kind of girl, but I thought, you know, I want to try something new. And I really like the color of this one in particular. So this is the asymmetrical a uh, neck belted jumpsuit. It is only $23. Okay, that's a great deal. And I got it in the size 4X, which is a US size 20 on the Shein website. Very important. I will stress it in every video that I do with Shein. You have to look at the measurements in the sizing chart to be sure that you're getting your correct sizing. As far as the fit of this particular piece, it is a regular fit, but it does have a slight stretch to it. Uh, the piece that I picked up is in a rust brown as far as the color. This is the only color they have available in this particular jumpsuit. And as far as what it's made out of, it does have 65% cotton and 35% polyester. So that gives you an idea if you're a texture your person how it works out for you now under different circumstances a piece like this will be good for some kind of holiday party um, especially if you've got some big hair going on um, some nice staple jewelry pieces and some really cute heels this will be great for a holiday party um, obviously it may not be a lot of that going on this year however this is still a great outfit especially for me i thought the color of this was amazing on my skin like i thought this color looked really good it kind of matches my lip color a little bit if you think about it it's almost the same thing. So I thought that looked really nice. And I was really taking a risk on it. Like I said, I'm not a bodysuit kind of girl. But when I put this on, I was really feeling myself. Um, the asymmetrical part though, you got to be careful. Because if your arms are any bigger than mine, I don't think that this piece will work out very well for you, honestly. Just keep that in mind when you're picking out bodysuits or asymmetrical pieces. If you have very large arms, then this piece won't work for you. Other than that, I think it's great. Um, I did have on shapewear in the video I had on shaper shorts though. So at the bottom of the shaper so shorts, you could kind of see um, the very bottom, the short part of it. I don't think I'm saying that right. The cuffed part of my shaper shorts by my thighs, you could kind of see that. So I would pick out a different pair of shapewear, like a panty shapewear to go with this. But it looked great. I feel like, um, I know, you know, it's a little... Um, iffy as far as people saying that certain body types can't pull off um, body suits. I feel like if it is the correct color, then anybody could pull off a body suit, especially if you are wearing shapewear, anybody could pull it off. It's all about the color, really. Like I really nailed it this time with the color of this bodysuit. Like I said, I don't really do body suits. Um, I have another one from another company. It's on the bigger side. And um, I don't really like how it looks on me because it is so big. I feel like on certain pieces, they can't be too big. They can't be too small. You got to find something that's just right for your body type. And for me, I feel like this looked great on me. Um, especially it does have that belt that ties in the front. You can put it in the front or the side. The model has it, um, you know, tied towards the front of her. I kind of did mine to the side a little bit. I thought it looked better on my body. So I love this piece. It does come all the way down um, past my ankles. It drags a little bit and I'm five seven. So if you're any shorter than me, you may want to get it hemmed or take in or whatever the case is but I love this piece. So the next piece in this haul I'm actually wearing right now it is the plus zip up embroidery butterfly hoodie. Unfortunately it is sold out. Um, it was $19. I love this hoodie. Y'all know y'all you're gonna see me in it a lot so just be prepared for it. Y'all know I love butterflies. It's a light jacket. I get cold a lot in the house especially so I'm always wearing something in my arms for the most part. I love little light jackets to have. As far as the fit of this jacket to me it's just a regular fit. It does have like a, a slight stretch to it and as far as the material is concerned it is made out of 65% cotton, 35% polyester again. So this does have some stretchiness to it. It's super soft. It's black. I picked it up in the largest size that they have available, which is a 4XL. Again, that is a US size 20. I think it fits just great on me. It zips up. Um, as far as the hood is concerned, it is not a drawstring hood, so keep that in mind. The hood is fairly good, a uh, fairly uh, good size though. Like it will cover my head. I don't want to mess up my hair right now, but it will cover my head completely. It's just a light jacket to throw on uh, while we're transitioning into cooler. So the next piece I have for y'all is the Shein Plus Flap 
pocket front drop shoulder cord jacket. That's a mouthful. I got it in a size 4XL. Again, that's a US 20. And this was only $24. Now, what I love about this is definitely the look of it. Um, it's one of these type of jackets, on me at least, where it's a um, like a higher jacket. Like it comes to about right here on me as far as where it sits. So keep that in mind if you're my height. Um, it's definitely something great to add to an outfit that you already have going on. If you are in like some darker wash blue jeans and you got on some cute boots, maybe some suede brown boots, maybe low cut or even high cut. I feel like that would look great as well. And um, maybe you have your white blouse tucked in with a nice belt buckle going on. This jacket would look great over top of that. Um, it does have functioning pockets. That is a big thing for me when it comes to jackets. I feel like they at least have to have functioning pockets. It does have functioning drawstring for the hood. It's a nice big hood. You'll see in the video, I believe I put the hood on and it's a good size that fit over my head. I have a big head and it works just fine. It doesn't have any pockets inside though, so keep that in mind. This is a regular fit and it is a non-stretch, so this is not stretch out. The bottom of it, however, does have a little bit of elastic. I know it says that it doesn't stretch, but there is elastic at the bottom of it. This jacket is made of 95% polyester, only 5% of spandex, so keep that in mind. It's in the color coffee brown, and it almost reminds me of like a corduroy type of feel to it. Like if you look at I'll give you a close up here. If you look at the pattern and just how um, how it seems the material looks on camera, it almost looks like it's corduroy. So I love that. That may be why it says cord. It's calling it a cord jacket. So it's not quite corduroy, but it gives you the look of corduroy. And I love it. Jacket was $24. Um, in the photo, the model has on some black bottoms, like some black um, distressed jeans. And she's wearing some uh, white tennis shoes. Like I said, I think this will maybe look better with some dark wash jeans and some boots to go along with it. Maybe if the boots were this color as well, it will look really nice. So I love this. Another piece to add to your fall wardrobe. Next, we have the Plus Laser Cut Hem Belted Peplum Blouse. I got this in a 4XL, which is a US 20. As far as the size and fit of this item is concerned, there is no stretch to it. It's non-stretchy. Um, it is like a regular fit, so it's not meant to be skinny or oversized. As far as the material of the piece is concerned, it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I love this color in particular. They have the color listed as a dark green. So that's honestly what drew me to this piece is the color. I've really been into green, and I feel like when we're moving into fall, we're thinking of those darker greens, olive green, navy green. I said navy green olive green, army green, forest green. Um, you're thinking of your tans and your browns and your oranges, your auburns, those kind of uh, color patterns or color schemes for fall. So I really wanted some green pieces and I think this is a great piece for fall. Um, with this particular item, I feel like it's something that you dress up with the black slacks for sure. It's something great uh, to wear for work, like a, a business casual type of look. Not quite professional, but business casual for sure. And I love the pattern that it has as far as the cutouts. So you see the same pattern here in the sleeves as you do the bottom of the piece. So that's what really uh, stuck out to me. And I also love um, tops that kind of draw you in a little bit around the waist. So this is supposed to be considered my waist. It's kind of non-existent at the moment, but items that kind of draw you in right here, I think look really good on me as far as my figure is concerned. One thing I would say, I think it would look a little bit better if this, um, this tie that's associated with it was a little bit thicker. I think with it being so thin, when you do tie it, it kind of gives it an awkward look to it. I feel like if this was a little bit thicker, and maybe if this was a satin tie, it doesn't necessarily need to be the same material as this, as the shirt, but if this was like a green satin tie and it was a little bit wider, I should say not thicker, but wider, I think it would look a lot better wrapped around my waist in particular, but I still love it. And I just love things that have, you know, these little unique features to so you it. You know, it's about to be sweater weather. So I went ahead and picked up a few sweaters. So the first one I have, Able Knit Drawstring Waist Sweater. Now they have it available in four colors. So they have beige, black, uh, they have brown, and they also have a lilac purple. Now you would think I would go for the purple, but seeing as how we are moving into fall, um, I needed a beige sweater. I don't really have a beige sweater. So I got this in a 4XL, a US 20 again. This is the highest size they offer in this sweater. It was $23. And y'all, I love this sweater. Now, 
this does have a slight stretch to it it's a regular fit as far as the material is concerned they have it listed on on the website as 100 acrylic it's for more of a casual style but i still feel like this is a piece that you can dress up as well um i will say though is that you may want to wear an undershirt if you pick up this particular sweater because of the patterns in the sweater it is definitely see-through it has holes in there so always make sure that you just wear maybe a nice little nude undershirt um, if you want to wear black, you can. It's your prerogative. But I would wear a nice little nude undershirt underneath of it. Um, I love that it does draw in at the waist. You'll see that in my video that I had on um, some really relaxed fit jeans. I would wear um, like a skinny jean with these, maybe a light color skinny jean or maybe even a dark wash and it would look great again with some tan boots. It's about to be boot season and I'm so excited about it y'all. I need to buy me some new boots but it's about to be boot season and uh, dark wash jeans with some nice tan to brown color boots with this sweater on will look cute. Some nice chunky gold uh, jewelry, gold earrings, bracelets for sure. Um, not so much a necklace because you may be wearing a scarf with it. So I'm super excited about fall. That's one of my favorite seasons for sure. I love this sweater though and how it fits on me especially. All these items I picked up in a size 4XL again, which is their size 20. So I was a little skeptical of whether or not it would fit me and how well it fit. But again, you have to refer to those measurements. Just like I'm thinking in my head, well, I don't wear a size 20 in any other retailer. I'm more or less a 22, 24, maybe even a 26 in certain pants. So I don't know how I'm going to do a 20. But you have to make sure that you get your correct measurements. I would definitely pick it up in the green color. Is that what color it was in? I forgot that quick. I think it's brown though. Look, I'm making up colors. I think they should make this though. I think they should make this sweater though in the same color that I just mentioned, uh, the uh, green piece. I think they should make that in this color. It says right now that the hot colors though for this are the brown and the lilac. So I honestly think I may go back and pick up the brown for myself for sure. So next I picked up a cardigan. This is the plus block striped drop shoulder cardigan. I almost couldn't get it out. Um, it has three color selections. They all say multicolor, but I selected the first option on the multicolor. So they're all striped, but different color schemes, if that makes any sense. Again, I got it in the 4XL size 20. Um, as far as the fit of it, it is a regular fit. It does have a slight stretch to it. It has all functioning buttons and this is 100% acrylic. Um, it is listed as a casual piece. Again, a lot of these pieces, they say casual, but I feel like you can dress up a lot of the things that I picked up as well. I adore this sweater. Um, it doesn't hang as low on me as I thought it would. I thought it would, it doesn't say that it's oversized. So again, it's very important to read the descriptions of these things as far as the fit is concerned. Um, if I would have read that part, I would have known that it's not going to be oversized on me, even though it looks a little oversized on the model. But I wish that it was a little bit longer, for sure. I'm still going to wear it because I think it's so cute. But I do wish that it was a little bit longer. And it does only have about three buttons. Yeah, three buttons. And they were a little hard to get undone when I first opened up the piece. At first, I had to look and see... Uh, are these functioning buttons? Am I supposed to pull this over my head? No, that's not the case. They were just a little hard to get undone when I first opened it up. So I love this. So with this being a cardigan, you're already going to have on some type of shirt. Maybe even if you just have on, a, um, sorry, maybe if you just have on a V-neck or something like that, you can throw this cardigan over that V-neck and then it's great for whatever outfit that you're wearing. Um, again, this is a piece that you can dress up or down. Uh, pieces like this, though, I usually just dress down super casual jeans. Again, correlating shoes and a cute purse and accessories. So this next piece is actually a graphic sweatshirt. I know y'all don't see me pick up a lot of those on my channel, but I saw what this one said in particular and I had to get it. It says on there to know your worth, not to, but it says know your worth and add tax. I love that I got it in a black with uh, white lettering on it. I got it in the largest size available, which is the 4XL size uh, 20, and it was only $15, which is not bad 
for a sweatshirt like this. If you go online or look at any IG uh, accounts or any IG ads or Facebook ads, then you'll see a sweatshirt like this for $60. So $15 is not a bad deal at all. As far as the material is concerned, um, it is 65% cotton, 35% polyester. Um, it's a casual style and it has a rounded neck for the sweatshirt. So keep that in mind. I love it. I love how it fit on me in particular. But keep in mind that this is actually a thinner material, even though it says sweatshirt. Uh, when I think of sweatshirt, I normally think of like a sweatsuit type of cotton material thing. You know, the top and the bottoms that our parents used to put on us when we were smaller. Like the whole full sweatsuit, like a solid color, usually navy blue, navy blue or gray. I think of that when I think of a sweatshirt, but this is not even that thick. So this is on the thinner side. I would even go as far to call it a long sleeve shirt, really. Like it has some features that may uh, gear towards it being a sweatshirt, but it doesn't have that same coverage, if that makes any sense as far as the material. So the bottom of it um, kind of gives you that sweatshirt feel. You'll see the bottom of it. And then I believe the sleeves do as well. So um, I, know, I don't think you would call this cuffed really, but they give you the feel of a sweatshirt. This is really just a long sleeve shirt, honestly. But a lot of the time, you know, we get stuff based on how it makes us feel in the moment and what it says. And that's what happened here. I love this piece, don't get me wrong, but it's very important to know that it is on the thin side. I would definitely wear a undershirt, a very, very thin like camisole underneath. So it. the very last piece in this haul is a plus lapel neck self-belted trench coat. Now, this was a little bit of a letdown for me because when you're thinking of a trench coat, again, anything with the word coat in it, um, you're thinking it's going to have a little bit more material, be a little bit thicker, and also have function in pockets. You are getting none of that with this particular piece. So I did get it in the highest size available, the 4XL size 20. Um, as far as the size and fit of this particular item, it is a regular size. It's not stretchy at all, but you'll see in the video, it is rather large on me. So it's pretty big um, as far as the fit on me. And as far as the material is concerned, it's 95% polyester, 5% spandex, and this is in an army green color. Again, like I mentioned, I think that um, that sweater that I had, the drawstring waist sweater, will look great in a color like this or in that dark green color from the previous blouse. So I love that these, again, a long sleeve trench coat. Um, it's very long. So on me, I believe it comes down let me just check again because I don't want to tell y'all a story. It comes down to my ankles. It's not dragging or anything. It does have a tie on it. As far as the functionality of the trench coat, it's merely just to take pictures in. Um, maybe throw, a, throw it over you or put your arms in it if you have a handbag or a purse with you, but you can't use any of the pockets. Um, there are no buttons on it that function or work. Um, really just for taking pictures. I hate to say that, but a piece like this, you know, I can't do anything with this besides take pictures because I don't like wearing coats that I can't stick my hands in the pockets, at least if you get cold or um, I don't think it would protect you fully from the rain. And I can't be too disappointed about the piece because of the price point. So when you're thinking about a trench coat, I'm thinking minimum $80. Like, if we're talking about a good quality coat, minimum $80. Anything less than that is not going to be that good. This is $24, you know, and not Sebastian because I do like uh, everything else in the haul I love. But this right here was a huge letdown because when you look at the model, you see that it doesn't have buttons. But I at least thought the pockets would work and I thought it would be a little bit thicker. So, you know, um, my expectations didn't meet up to reality in this particular um, circumstance, but it's all good. It would be great to throw on if you know that you're going out to a party really quick. But if you're like, you're going to be out all day and you need something to really protect you and keep you warm or keep you out of the rain, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. So um, this is a gorgeous color though, and I love the length of it, but um it's not functional really so that is everything for my Shein haul this go around 
Tell me what you thought. This is the first haul of the fall season. I'm sure there will be a few more to come. Maybe not many, but there will be a few more to come this fall season. Uh, let me know your favorite piece. Maybe something you would pick up for yourself. Not necessarily your favorite piece on me, but let me know your favorite piece in general. I love to see your comments down below. Be sure that if you do shop on our website for anything, not just um, the stuff you saw me mention in the haul, but if you want to pick up anything from the Shein site, be sure to use my code Wendy W15 or Wendy W15 to receive 15% off of your purchase. Thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate all the love and support on these try on videos. I know that y'all love them and I will try my best to get them out when I can. So thank y'all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.